guys welcome back to my channel I know you're not used to seeing me like this <laughs> super dark super glam I don't know I am obsessed with this look I did this with the Jaclyn Hill palette you guys I'm so in love with this palette so in love best buy ever <laughs> I don't even know what else to say I'm just so in love with it this is my new baby I'm obsessed with it. I think it's the most gorgeous palette in the world. Ever since I purchased it, I've been waiting to do a look like this. I know it's super not my normal, and I know it's not very wearable. It's not daytime friendly. You're not going to probably go wear it out, <laughs> but I love it. And for artistic reasons, I'm so happy that I did it. <laughs> but, so, if you want to see how I accomplished this eye look and everything, I hope you keep watching. <laughs> But if you want more videos like this where they may not be a super wearable look but it's something fun to watch and it's more creative and drama and ah, I don't know, um, let me know, comment down below, give it a like. I'm in love with it. I think it's super amazing. But let me know what you guys think. So if you want to see how I got this eye look, just keep watching. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump right into this video. So first I do my normal step and I take a white or cream shade and put that all over my lid to help the colors pop, you know. I do this every time. Um, when I'm doing this, I do it all over the eye and then I also put it in my corner of my eye so that it kind of brightens it up. Oh boy. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little excited to do a look with this palette. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. I mean, it might be influenced by the fact that I'm obsessed with Jaclyn Hill. But anyways, let's jump right in. So first I'm going in with that yellowish, burnt yellowish shade. I don't really know. I have the card that says the names on it, but if we're going to be real, nobody pays attention to the names in these big palettes. It's just not really a thing. <laughs> so I'm going in with that shade and I am putting that in my crease and just do however much you want until it becomes the look you're desiring so next we're gonna go in with this more orangish shade and I'm just doing this to to find the crease a little bit um, add some more dimension you guys will see I layer a lot of different colors in this look it's really to just bring out all the dimensions so I'm doing this shade and I'm keeping it lower in my crease I'm not going up as high when I'm putting it on and then I'll blend out and blend out the like remaining product up a little bit so that it blends into the other shade but when I'm doing this part, I'm just keeping it like in my crease and below. Don't worry about what the lid looks like. We're going to cover it anyways. So we are just blending, blending, blending. All right. And now we're going to go in with this more brownish, reddish, orangish shade. <laughs> Again, I don't know. It's a bunch of warm tones. I don't know the names. <laughs> so we are going to take this brush on a more defined brush. And I'm going to put that and just concentrate it solely into my crease. Um, again, this is just adding dimension, you guys. Makes it easier to blend, makes the look more flawless. It just makes the whole look come together a little bit better. All right, now we're gonna go in with this more deep maroon burgundy shade. Um, I use a flat shader brush, and you guys, when you're packing on color, it's not, you don't want to sweep on the color, like, you want to pack it on, because the more you sweep, which I do it a little bit, but it's more so when the color's already off my brush. When I have most of the pigment on my brush, I dab. Um, quick break, I am putting setting powder underneath my eye. This is a little known trick. If you're using something that has a lot of pigment or a lot of shimmers, if you put setting powder underneath your eye, it helps sweep it away better when there's fallout. So, back to packing on powder the pigment so when it first when I first start packing it on I dab and then once the color is all there then I kind of sweep it on but for the most part you want to dab it on I may not always do that but then I have a ton of fallout so that's what happens when you don't listen to your own rules <laughs> um, so I just go back and forth between packing on pigment blending it out blending it out with another brush packing on pigment Ooh, I really like it right now <laughs> All right, so we are going to move on to the other eye. And then once that eye looks like the other one, we will move on to the next step, guys.
All right, so now I am gonna wipe away that bakage, which I don't know why I did, because I'm gonna be going in with another dark color, but whatever. So now we're gonna be going in with that dark plum shade. You guys, it almost looks black, but it's actually a plum. And it is the most gorgeous shade I've ever seen. So if you don't want to go quite as dramatic, you could stop here and not do this next step. I'll probably be doing that a lot this fall, quite honestly. But I wanted a really vampy eye. So here I am packing on that dark plum shade. And again, this is going to be a lot of packing it on, blending it out. Because when you're working with a darker color like this, you really got to blend out those lines. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just packing on the pigment, blending it out, packing on the pigment, blending it out. You're never going to have it perfectly blended. I mean, it's blended, but I'm still going to have a little bit of that line because I'm, it's just, you just do. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's not ever going to be seamless. I mean, really good makeup artists might have that, but I will never anytime soon have a completely seamless line. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. And now I'm taking that red shade that we went in with on our lid originally, and I am um, just using the brush and blending those two shades together. So that's all I do in these steps. I pack on, I blend it out, I pack on, I blend it out. I take the red shade, I blend it out. I try to make it look as seamless as possible. It might look a little messy until I blend it out, but it comes together, I promise. <laughs> yes, this is me doing a little happy dance. <laughs> Not even happy dance, just a happy face. But I'm going to take that darker plum shade now and go underneath my eye. Again, if you don't want it to be super vampy and smoky, you could always take lighter shades and do the under part of your eye. But for artistic reasons and the vision I had in my head, I wanted a very dark bottom smoked out lash line. So now we are going to go in with that um, orangey brown shade that we used on our top lid and we're just going to blend that out and then I think I go in with one more shade yet. Yes, I know it's a lot of steps. This isn't your easy everyday look. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just a really fun look that, you know, is just different. So now we're going to go in with that very first shade we took, that like yellowish goldish shade. And we're going to also, we're going to blend it out with that as well. This just makes the whole like la bottom lash line just look way more I don't know it has more dimension so now we're gonna go in with this teal shade and you guys I'm not gonna lie when I first started doing this I think I cut the clip but I hated this at first because it took my like it just didn't come out like my vision but once I got the lashes on and I fixed it and like brightened it up a little bit I ended up loving it so it's not going to look great right now. Sometimes that happens in makeup. You see something and you're like, yes, I love it. And you're doing it and you're like, oh my God, I hate it. And then it comes together at the end. So bear with me. It looks a little crazy right now. Looks a little weird, but it comes together. I promise. <laughs> All right, in this step, I tried to take that more like aqua shimmery color and lighten it up. It didn't do much. I ended up going in with another color over that, and I forgot to put it in here, but it's one of those um, cream shadows, or not cream shadows, one of those more creamy colored shadows that are in the top of the palette. Um, they're like highlighting shades almost, and that really helped brighten it up, but this teal, this like cool blue shimmery shade didn't do much at all. So I then go in with um the same color I'm putting on my brown right brow bone sorry right now and it's more of like a creamy shimmery shade uh, so and that really helped brighten up that inner corner and that's when I started to see it coming together a little bit better um until I get my lashes and my eyeliner on though I honestly still was like I ruined my whole look but I end up loving it right so that's all that matters <laughs> the journey sometimes is worth it in the end so now I'm just blending out um my inner corner and I was blending out my where I put my brow bone highlight because you don't want any harsh lines um, I do feel that blending out this corner really helped as well because it just made it look a little less harsh that face was a whoa finally done all right so my liner did I got part of it on there but again I have to get really close to my mirror and until I can get a filming setup that I like for this I'm not gonna be able to show you how to do a wing anytime soon I just have to figure out how I'm gonna do it but so I showed part of it I showed you how I draw the line right here and then it cuts out but I went in with my normal Maybelline gel liner and then I just do my normal eyeliner and then I draw a line and connect it to my eyeliner here's me talking my talking to myself about how I hate my winged eyeliner and to get over it it happens 
and this is me being really upset that it didn't come out. <laughs> Apparently, I'm all over the board that night. All right, so now we're going to do lashes, and then we're going to do lips. So I'm going in with my normal Holy Grail Maybelline Lash Sensational, and I'm just putting, like, one coat on my lashes. See, is how I'm going to be doing falsies anyways. All right, after I'm done with mascara, I'm going to go in with the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. I like these lashes, except I don't, like... There's just certain things I don't like about them. They're too long for my lids, for one. I have to trim every single pair, which is super annoying. Which, I have to trim a lot of pairs, but I have to trim, like, a lot off of these, <laughs> I feel like. So, anyways, I put those on, and then I came back on camera. Now I am doing my bottom lash mascara. And I think I show you the final look now. Ooh, lashes and liner make such a difference, you guys. So much better. All right, we're going to go in with our lips, and I am giving two lip options. First, this more pinky nude, which I wish I would have done more of just a nude, and then this vampy red oxblood color. So first, we are doing the nude shade, and again, I wish I would have done more of just like a plain nude, not so much of a pinky nude, but it was like 10 o'clock at night, so I'm just going to chalk it up to bad decisions. <laughs> so I will show you in a minute here what it looks like with more of a nude lip, and then I'll go into option number two for you guys. Alright, little known fact about YouTubers and people who do makeup in general, <laughs> you make a silly face because you get sick of staring at yourself and posing. <laughs> so now we're going to go in with this more oxblood type shade. It looks brown almost, but it's more of a reddish oxblood shade. And I'm not going to lie, this is totally my favorite lip, op lip option. Look at that pigment, seriously. But I love vampy looks. I love fall, which is when vampy looks are like most prominent. So. This is my favorite part by far. Look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not super wearable, but I love it, and I hope you guys love it too. So let me know by leaving me a like, share my video, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.